WTFNN. Headline News Update. And welcome all to the 2 p.m. update here at TFNN. Uh, where we got uh, just a little bit, uh, but uh, I think if there's uh, one factor getting ready to be uh, very self-evident, that is that we're uh, getting ready to uh, wait for uh, the uh, Fed announcement on Wednesday, so it's going to be fairly quiet. After the bell tonight, we've got Oracle. Uh, that could move the markets a little bit, but uh, again... Uh, we're getting toward the time of the year where, other than the Fed announcement on Wednesday, there isn't a lot to, to, to be said. Maybe uh, some uh, uh, economy news uh, Thursday and Friday. Uh, but probably the bulk of all the news is going to happen after the 2 p.m. update from the Fed this week. Uh, we also have options expiration on Friday. So we could see some rather big swings. Uh, we haven't. Uh, we saw a lot of people get short the last couple of days, uh, which generally is not a good thing if you're short. You want uh, everybody else scared out uh, to place your trade. Now, is there anything else going on here? No. A lot of people got short. We're just kind of inching up uh, into the Fed announcement. Um, I did cover my... Uh, short on Friday, and uh, we're looking now at uh, resetting the hook. I still suspect that we've got some downside, uh, but it's probably limited with all the short sellers. When they give up, uh, it may give us another opportunity to set the hook. But, uh, you know, you get into this time of year, it is problematic to have both short and long uh, positions if there isn't uh, an overwhelming need to either buy or sell or cover a particular stock. Uh, lower volatility pretty much uh, pretty much okay pretty much uh, tough. So we'll look at that. We'll look at uh, volume and a bunch of other things on the show today. Uh, so hang on in just a few minutes and we'll get into it. The reality is that navigating financial markets can be risky. 